Hello all. Uh, today we have uh, Rahil again for the second session on ball strings and uh, grips. I think uh, Rahil should be here any moment. Yes, there. There you go. <coughs> hey, Rahil. Hi Kiran, how are you? Hi, good to see you again. Yes, I'm doing great. Looks like you've been working out or something. You have to, man. There's no other thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yes. So, so uh, let's let's get to our agenda because uh, we just have one hour, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yes, from where we ran out, ran out of time. Yes. So hi from everyone. Where, hi, hi. Uh, again, to take you. It just to make sure everybody, uh, we introduce Rahil again. Rahil is uh, uh, is a pro, is a former pro tennis player, and uh, he's he's now uh, Pan India distributor for Fring and uh, Soling Pro. And uh, we where we left out yesterday was we we talked about rackets yesterday. There was a lot of information from Rahil, a lot of physics as well, which go through a tennis racket. And today. We are going to talk. We are going to start with tennis balls. Okay. From the fan page, which we got. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Let's go, Ryan. Let's start from the ball. <clears throat> um, so, uh, tennis balls. Um, one of the most consumed items on a tennis court. I mean, you cannot run. A tennis academy or a tennis player cannot play without tennis balls. Right. Um, now, uh, tennis balls come of uh, various uh, qualities uh, all over the world. Right. Um, you can um, broadly divide them into uh, two types of fur that goes onto the ball. Now, uh, the fur can either be um, a synthetic woven fur. Right. Or it can be a, a, a synthetic fur or a woven fur, sorry, a synthetic fur or a woven fur. Now synthetic furs are generally basically uh, used on balls um, which are not of the highest quality. Uh, they fall into the championship quality ball right. or below, below that. Right. So um, if you were to give an example of a championship quality ball, or right. below that in the current Indian market. So right. you could say um, all the head championship, Wilson championship, Prince championship, Babala championship, you know, these are the championship quality balls. Um, and below that, so like your head triple X, your kit pro, uh, your Wilson Titanium, um, your Slazenger practice, you know, these are the balls that come with the synthetic fur. Uh, the prices of this are much lower. They are idly used uh, by players for drilling purposes. Um, they are idly not used for uh, rallying purposes because the ball is extremely light. Uh, the balls tend to fly out a lot uh, when uh, the professional players or the tournament level players rally with them. Um, the other kind of ball is the woven quality uh, felt ball, uh, which basically is um, more for rallying, more for tournament level play, more for playing sets, more for uh, 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 practicing uh, long uh, uh, rally balls. Uh, these, uh, in this, the the felt of the ball uh, is not light. It's a heavier felt. Uh, the quality of the felt makes the ball fluffier. It makes the ball more durable. It's uh, obviously a little bit more expensive compared to the synthetic quality ball. And uh, this quality ball um, is also used at the tour level, at the ATP tour level or at the Futures level, at the Challenger level, at the WTA level. So this is the ball that you know people are generally uh, wanting all the time. The most popular ball in India that's ever been there in this quality has been the Wilson Australian Open ball. Right. Uh, unfortunately, Wilson lost the rights of the Australian Open in 2019 19, January. Yep. 19 January. Yeah, yeah, and Dunlop took over that uh, that uh, Grand Slam, the Australian Open. So now the ball is called the Dunlop Australian Open, but because the Dunlop ball is manufactured in Philippines, 
and the Wilson ball was manufactured in Thailand. Uh, somehow the people are not finding the quality the same, even though it's an Australian open ball. But every every uh, every player to themselves, you know. Um, in Prince, though, we have launched uh, a very interesting ball. It's called the Prince Tour Premier. Um, a right. very high quality ball made in Thailand with the woven fur. Uh, uh, according uh, to the feedback that we have been getting from coaches, from players, from academies, from clubs, we have seen that uh, this ball is coming uh, the closest to the Wilson Australian Open. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Wilson Australian Open, but this ball has been coming the closest to the Wilson Australian Open. Right. Um, the, the feedback on the ball has been fantastic, the durability has been fantastic, the consistency has been fantastic. Um, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by way, the way the ball has uh, responded in the Indian conditions, because Indian conditions are not like European conditions or any other condition. You have so many different varieties of conditions right. in India, right? Like you have the hot and humid all over the south southern coast with Bombay and Chennai, then you have the high altitude coming up in Bangalore and then you have the extreme temperatures in the northern part of India in Delhi. Again, you have a lot of low pressure in uh, Orissa, Vishakhapatnam, uh, Calcutta, uh, dry hot weather in Rajasthan, Gujarat, you know. So overall, like it's been pretty impressive and we've been pretty surprised by the response that we've got with the ball considering that we've just introduced the ball only a year and a half ago and right. the response has been really overwhelming but um, not taking away anything from uh, the way the balls manufactured now today if you see all the ball manufacturers are in Thailand so right. Wilson, Babala, um, Prince, uh, Robin Zorling you know all these balls are being manufactured in Thailand so okay. balls obviously is a very important aspect um, a lot of players do get injuries with uh, balls, if they are not using the correct ball, you know they they tend the, the elbows tend to hurt, their 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 forearms tend to hurt if the ball is not of the right pressure and they've been playing for a long time. So right. it's obviously important that uh, that these guys you know use the right balls uh, when they're playing. I mean for the right purpose. If they're drilling, yes, you can use a lower quality ball. But if you're rallying, you should definitely use a higher quality ball. It is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it because it's not only going to improve your play, it's going to improve the longevity of your game. Like you don't want to play tennis for five years right. and sit out for the rest of your life because your arm is injured, right? right. Hi Pradeep sir, how are you? Very nice to see you. We have a, Hi, we have a message already from Mukun. I'm sure uh, Mr. why Mukun. did it take so long <laughs> for racket customization? That uh, Mukun, we are going to do that tomorrow. Today it's all about uh, it's all about uh, ball string equipment. Yeah, so uh, racket stringing. I mean customization is tomorrow. We will uh, talk about it tomorrow, but we will take this question what Mukun has to say uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. First question will be yours, Mukun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, he's a celebrity, yeah. man. We have to answer yeah. his question first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a celebrity. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's leading the Indian flag, man. Come on. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Ryle, yeah. most of them don't yeah. know that, you know, uh, you know, when you said, uh, you know. Hi, Sunil. <laughs> How are you, man? Sunil Ari is here. Sunil uh, Ari, good friend of mine. Uh, I really respect him. Pratik is here. Mukund is here. Kalyan hey, is Pratik. here. Busari is here. Dosa. <laughs> Busari is hey, here. Hey, Devinder. Thank you for joining in, man. Yeah, Kupreet is here. And a lot of players, a lot of our uh, friends. And Mohit is here. <laughs> Shiva is here. Hey, Vijay. Vijay Sivach is here. Oh, Vijay. Yeah. Is he in India? Or is he... Uh... <laughs> Sujay is here. Sujay Mahadevan okay. is here. Sunil Harry is here. Then, um, Hi Mohit sir. Debu is here. Debu from uh, Tripura is here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think yeah, we yeah. should proceed with uh, with yes. our chat. Otherwise, yes, of course. you know, we're, we're not going to be able to it. finish. Uh, yeah, then the most important, because people don't understand that, you know, in conditions, when you said condition, I don't think most of them know that there's another ball which comes, uh, which is a high altitude ball, which is usually used in Nigeria yes. and uh, different parts of uh, 
uh, yeah, uh, yeah. the world. In India, in India, we do have a few areas in the southern Deccan Plateau area which do have high altitude, like Pune is slightly high altitude. Bangalore is one of the typical areas of high altitude where the balls tend to fly out a lot more. So what high altitude basically does is the atmosphere in high altitude areas is generally thinner mm-hmm. as compared to the atmosphere in sea level areas which is right. most of India is at sea level but uh-huh. the Deccan Plateau area uh, has uh, a considerable amount of high altitude mm-hmm. and because of the high altitude um, uh, the balls tend to fly out because of the, the thinness in the atmosphere and because the balls fly out generally um, what is preferred is to use a very um, heavy felt ball with more durability which right. fluffs up a lot more as compared to uh, other balls um, in the market though right. um, I think Head is a brand that has introduced high altitude balls uh, which is very impressive uh, I don't know how they're doing out in the market right now I think uh, uh, there are a lot of people who would have tried and tested it uh, I think you guys should also try that out and you know get some feedback on that but uh, the balls um, like I said high altitude balls in India specifically don't do too well because there's not that much uh, area in India which is high altitude you know most of the tennis is happening in the coastal areas in northern in, in the northern part of India and stuff like that so it's uh, quite interesting yeah. One so we question got a question I think from can we make any ball suggestions to slow down conditions for kids in India yeah, absolutely. So, uh, like I was mentioning, uh, these balls, like the uh, the woven felt balls, okay, yeah. these balls are slower than the general championship balls. And uh, in Prince specifically, uh, we have worked very, very hard with the factory to create the Tour Premier ball, which we right. have made the factory slow down. So, basically, we've reduced the pressure in the ball. All right. The average pressure in the ball is about uh, 17 or 18 points, uh, mm-hmm. and we have put the pressure in the Prince Tour Premium ball at 16 points to slow down the speed of the ball, which not only increases uh, the longevity of the of the play, but it 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 slows down the speed of the ball, which allows uh, players to last longer in the rallies, work harder to finish the point. Uh, right. And these balls are ITF approved, so it's not like we're we are making a mistake by reducing the pressure. So right. that's uh, that's something that you can be absolutely certain about. The balls are the correct ITF pressure. ITF has a range in pressure that they allow. They allow a pressure of going from 15 all the way to 19. So apparently in Grand Slams, uh, they play with a 19 pressure ball. Wow. So. Um, I was actually under the impression that uh, they were playing with a uh, 15 or a 16 because of the amount of rallies that they have. But when I actually got down to speaking to the companies and getting some information from them, I realized that uh, the Grand Slams actually play with the, with the uh, highest pressure balls. So their balls are actually the fastest that move through. But these guys are just so good that they make the game look so slow, even though they're hitting the ball at such high speeds. Um, and. Uh, and generally the balls that come to India are in the in the pressure range of 17 and 18 but like I said with with Prince we've worked specifically to bring down the pressure to purposefully slow down the speed of the ball so Mukun if you get a chance please try out the Prince Tour Premier balls your valuable feedback will be taken and you know I could also further improve the quality of the ball if you think that you know we need to change something about the quality of the ball right. you know we work very well with the factory over there um, so, been I mean, only uh, with Prince balls. <laughs> so, oh, okay, okay, that's interesting. From that's NX interesting. tour, from NX tour to uh, you know the premier. Absolutely, out. absolutely. And, so NX tour, he, NX tour is obviously a faster ball in Prince. It's not as slow as the tour premier. The tour premier is specifically designed for a much higher level of quality players. The NX tour, I would say, is more for the good club level players. You know, players playing. Um, uh, at a above 35, above 40, above 45 level playing tournaments uh, but uh, it's basically uh, slower than the championship ball but faster than the Tour Premium ball so it comes somewhere in the middle, the Tour NX uh, it allows people to play tournaments, it's also an ITF approved ball but it, um, the ball, the, ball uh, finish, the rally finishes off a little bit faster <laughs> Varun needs a yeah. full, full sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then uh, Mukun also said, is it cost effective? We could use these balls. 
I think I think that I think that um, I think in terms of the price that we have managed to put with prints, I think we've been the most aggressive in the market in terms of pricing. Uh, if you compare the ball's price compared to any other brand, I think we'd be about anywhere between five to ten percent lower in terms of pricing. Right. Um, in terms of quality, I don't want to comment on uh, on our brand versus other brands because you know every player has their own preference. Some mm -hmm. people might like head more, some people might like Prince more, some people might like Babala more. So I don't want to comment on that. It's to each one's own preference, and that goes the same with rackets. It goes the same with strings. All right, but I know at least pricing. It's a it's a black and white uh, figure, and I know that for sure that we've managed to price the Prince store premium balls. Uh, maybe ten, five or ten percent lower than other balls that are available in the market. I think uh, that's something that we have. Uh, I think someone agrees with me on the price over there. I, I don't know who that is. Uh, oh, there you go, Pradeep sir. Pradeep sir from Dehradun, by the way. Yeah, we have uh, another very, very uh, Before we just go down there, is there more front yeah. roll than Prince Tour ball? Prince Tour balls is yeah. There's more control. Yeah, because it's a slower <laughs> ball. Uh, it allows you to uh, take more time to swing through the ball, so definitely there is uh, there is definitely hi Aditya. Yeah, and Varun and uh, Varun and Sujay need full sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, we'll have to wait for the lockdown to open up before yeah. I, we can give anything for free. Otherwise, yeah. everything will get stuck in the courier in the middle. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pradeep agrees with the price. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Pradeep, he's from Dehradun. Pradeep, uh, Pradeep Pant. Uh, a very senior coach, a very experienced coach. He uh, has been coaching, I think, for the last uh, 15 years. Um, fantastic person. Players have always heard good things about him from all his players. So, a very, very experienced coach in that area, along with uh, a lot of other people. We have Debu here. Debu, I'm the first coach in Tripura. I'm using your uh, product in Tripura, like uh, balls and springs. Oh wow! Yeah, that's so that's nice. That's awesome. Uh, and uh, the price quality really works. Yes, of course. Uh, you have to go with Aditya. He knows better yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tripura, man. Thing. Thank you, thank you so much. Is that Abhilash? Uh, one second. Uh, who uh, from Agartala, right? You said. Tripura, Tripura. Yes. Tripura, uh, oh, Debu, from Tripura. Debu, Debu from uh, Tripura. Debu. Yeah. Okay, then, okay. Uh, Hi, Debu. Have, Thank Mr. you for Kannan, joining us. Mr. Kannan says, uh, no, he really like. Sorry, sorry. Can I just go up there? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, one more question. Yes, uh, the price for premium Prince premium balls give you good feel and durability. That's what uh, Mr. Kannan Dennis says. Oh, thank you, Mr. Kanan. Uh, your feedback is well appreciated. Right. Right. So, yeah, that's uh, that's with the ball. And I think just like you mentioned, every place, high altitude, everywhere you have uh, uh, the ball chain, which most of them don't know. You know, and I think uh, which ball suits you in your conditions, especially when it is, uh, you know, it usually happens with uh, in Hyderabad as well. You know, at times we change to NX Tour and then we have to change it to the premium. Depending on yeah. the condition, you know, it's, it's it's cold, it's 10 degrees here and in the summers it is 45 degrees. Right, 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 but right. Yeah, I right. think uh, most, of them, most of them don't realize that except for the brands and few coaches. I think in just take No, I mean, so I mean, I mean, you have, you have extreme temperatures as well. You also have situations of uh, extreme humidity because uh, it's raining uh, two to three months a year in even a place like Hyderabad. Uh, yeah. It gets uh, uh, hot uh, during the summers. It's really, really hot and it gets really dry at times. So, I mean, uh, the ball the ball that plays out the most consistent, all right, is obviously the ball that's going to give you the most amount of success. Right. Um, all, all the companies strive to give you that consistency. It's not like only Prince is trying to give you that consistency. Right. Uh, Babylad is doing the same thing, Head is doing the same thing, Wilson is doing right. the same thing. So whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether it's humid, whether it's dry, they're trying to give you the same consistency. Um, ideally, you shouldn't be changing your ball based on the weather of your same city. All right. 
uh, you should change balls only before let's say a tournament to know okay let's say this tournament is sponsored by babala so then you should be practicing a week before right. that tournament with babala balls you know you know stuff like that that's the only time i would recommend changing balls but otherwise if you're getting good quality good consistency good price with a particular kind of ball you should stick to that ball because the right. more consistency you can bring into your game uh the better your chances of you know seeing gradual improvement because right. that's how you will be able to judge whether your game is better or not i mean sometimes you might play better with a particular ball you might play bad with another ball the up down in the game is just going to frustrate you so it's better to stick to one ball keep at it all right just change balls before tournaments because obviously you need to be uh well versed with the ball that's going to be happening in the next tournament yeah that's a lot of information and you have one more what uh, what does altitude due to the bounce what is altitude uh, so altitude does make the ball bounce higher as well right. okay not just uh, like mr mohit has said it the ball tends to travel uh, more in high altitude which is absolutely true because uh, like i said the atmosphere is thinner and uh, the ball cuts through the air a lot faster right. um, so the ball does tend to travel a lot more it also tends to bounce a lot so when i was training in 2008 in bangalore uh, under the high performance tennis uh, program run by mr sunil ajman um, over there uh, we used to train at the kslta stadium and uh, the ball bounce was really really high compared to the same ball when we used to use in bombay um, so we could really see that difference over there though the stadium feel also would give it a different kind of a feel the stadium does make a difference on the ball it makes the ball echo a lot more it makes the ball sound a little bit more so it does make a difference over there as well but right. in terms of altitude yes the ball is going to bounce a lot higher it is going to fly out a lot more so you're going to have a lot you're going to have to add a lot more spin maybe you're going to have to increase the tension on your rackets you know to make the ball a little bit uh, to bring it a little bit under more control so you're going to have to do a couple of things you know in terms of adjustments with your personal self rather than uh, change the balls you know that's right. called that's the adaptability yeah i think i think the your answer goes there uh, mr and uh, pratik has which print ball would you recommend for highest durability uh, a print ball in terms of highest durability is, is hands down the print store premier it is the most durable ball it comes with the highest quality felt the felt is imported from uk it's a very very high quality felt it's called the p45 felt uh, i mean that's a little technical but it's a very very high quality felt it's the same felt that's used in all the tour uh, slams and all the tour uh, events right right okay yeah so uh, anything you want to add on uh, balls Right? No, I think we've covered a vast uh, area of uh, right. topics with respect to balls. If people have right. questions, obviously yeah, we'll always answer them. But right. we do have a limited amount of time, and I think we should exactly. move on to the string exactly. section because Absolutely. that's an even more—it's an even more exhaustive section. <laughs> exactly. Strings. So first, uh, first, I want you to go from the string. You know, because when we were playing as a kid, you know, we had yeah. only only synthetic. thing because we couldn't afford natural thing and natural thing were obviously not available in india as well right absolutely absolutely so we had no other option but synthetic gut mascot ty mascot ty gosen uh, you know and uh, all these stuff high sheep right high yeah, sheep yeah. gosen high sheep right 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 yeah, so uh, hey amit how are you man yeah we have quite a lot of them anand this year una hi anand how are you yeah. right So yes, take us through that, and uh, we will go to uh, the different uh, things in so length. So, um, so I'll start off with uh, with what strings are. All right. So basically, um, um, I'll tell you exactly what natural gut is first. So natural right. gut. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, what uh, one of the oldest guts you know ever produced. Uh, the first strings that ever were used were natural gut. Right. Okay. Uh, Babala had taken out a brand biography about strings on Tennis Warehouse, which I was lucky to see, and I don't know if you guys have managed to see it, but I'll give you a small uh, uh, idea. Yeah, about an idea about the VS gut. So, uh, natural gut is basically gut that's taken out from the intestine of animals. Right. Okay. Now uh, that might sound very yucky to a lot of people, but that's where musical instrument strings also come from. If you're 
well versed with that. So natural guts come out from the intestine of animals. Now, what kind of animal really depends? So the highest quality natural gut, even in natural gut you have different qualities. So the highest quality natural gut comes from the intestine of a cow. Okay. Um, the second quality of natural gut, which is slightly lower in terms of uh, quality, uh, comes from sheep, which is uh, or from goat. Either of these two animals, yeah. they are the second level quality. And um, uh, the third one um, that used to happen before it does not happen anymore. It used to come from the the intestine of a cat. Wow. Well, yeah. So the cat gut. Uh, it was called the cat gut. Yeah. 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 So that's. Yeah. So that's that's stopped now completely. I guess right. uh, I don't know why, but it's completely stopped. I guess because nobody likes the quality. But uh, like um, most of the players on the tour who are within the top 50 or top 100 singles, all right, and top 50, top 100 even in doubles, they prefer using at least. Uh, uh, half of the bed on their racket as natural gut because natural gut gives you the best elasticity, it gives you the best feel, it gives you uh, the perfect response. Uh, if you're putting in uh, 100, 100, uh, 100 amount of power in your, in your swing, the natural gut's going to give you the 100 amount of output on right. the string. So right. uh, natural gut in terms of quality is fantastic. It's the most elastic. It is the most responsive. There's nothing that comes close to natural gut. There's nothing that right. replicates natural gut. Right. But the uh, but there are two issues with natural gut. One is that it's crazy expensive. Okay, right. uh, a natural gut, uh, a babala natural gut comes to you for five thousand rupees per racket. Right. right. All right. So if you buy two of those, you can buy a new racket. Exactly. Yeah. And and. Um, the other problem with natural gut is that its durability is really, really low. Right. Right. So, I mean, if you're using a polyester string, which is the most popular string today, uh, the natural gut is is going to go at maybe one. It's going to give you only twenty percent of the entire time. So, if you're lasting a week with polyester, all right, you're going to not last more than a day, uh, or maximum two days with with uh, uh, natural gut. Right. So that's that's natural gut, uh, though like I said, it's unmatched in terms of quality. Um, talking about the other extreme, uh, synthetic gut. Now synthetic gut was um, uh, was all that players used to use in the 80s and the 90s, uh, obviously, because um, synthetic gun one was affordable. Right. Okay. Uh, it's uh, definitely more durable than natural gut. Uh, the feel in synthetic gut is nice and soft, so it actually feels good on the hand. All right, uh, you can. Uh, uh, it doesn't feel as harsh and hard like polyester guts. Uh, but um, the biggest problem with synthetic gut is that uh, it had crazy amount of tension loss, tension loss. Right. and that's why people, people when they were using synthetic gut, were stringing their rackets at 65, 66, 66, uh, 6, 70 sometimes, you know, crazy high tensions. Um, and uh, let's say you would play a set, um, you would see that the tension would drop, the, you say that the tension would drop by at least 10 to 15 pounds, you know, easily, and you would have to change your rackets. Um, synthetic gut also does not have the kind of grab on the ball that a polyester string has. Synthetic guts are really, really smooth, okay, um, and it does not have the same amount of grab. So you're never going to be able to generate the kind of spin that you want with a synthetic gut that you can generate with a polyester gut. So if we were to divide guts, okay, you can divide it into three types. You can divide it into natural gut, you can divide it into synthetic gut, and the third type is your polyester. Poly and polyester can be further divided into monofilament and multifilament. Right. So, according to me, uh, according to my knowledge, these are the three broad categories of strings, and right. then polyester is further divided into monofilament and multifilament. So, if you come to talk about polyester strings, if you talk about um, the pros and cons of polyester strings, the biggest, the biggest pro of a polyester string is that it generates unbelievable amount of strings. Rafael Nadal, RPM Blast, RPM Blast is a typical polyester string which uh, generates unbelievable amount of spin. Why does polyester string generate unbelievable amount of spin? It's because the string is so stiff 
all right uh, that when when you're hitting the ball the string moves and it snaps back into its position right. uh with a lot of velocity and it snaps back into position again and again and again and again if you were to hit the same uh, amount of string a uh, uh, same amount of spin with uh, a natural natural gut or with uh, a synthetic gut uh, the strings would not come back to the same position that's why right. you would you see players at the earlier time adjusting the strings all the time right. but today you don't see players adjusting the strings because the the polyester strings snap back into position all the time and right. uh, the amount of spin generation that is there is unbeatable tension loss in polyester strings is very minimal it's lower compared to natural string it's lower compared to a uh, 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 synthetic string as well right. um some polyester strings also claim like signum pro from uh, mm -hmm. germany claims that it bloody hell gets 10% tighter after you play right. it after you play with it so i i was quite surprising when i read about yeah. that but yeah. it could be true i'm not i'm not dismissing its yeah, technology but, but i'm just saying that it's quite lost. surprising that is what maximum yeah but they yeah yeah but they claim that it's a 10% tighter it gets 10% okay. tighter according okay. to me it wouldn't be getting 10% tighter what i interpreted is that it get 10 that the strings get deader the strings lose its its right. punch and its feel so right. that's why maybe it feels like it's tighter but it's actually just deader that's right. what i interpret this as but right. polyester strings the biggest problem with polyester strings is that it's it's got very little to no feel and right. uh Thanks Kunal thank you for the comment really appreciate it um we have there's there's this one is Kunal, more thing this is Kunal from Patna right you have a Kunal you have a like compliment rail is a technical genius from uh, aditya <laughs> i'm telling you he's always batting he's always batting for me man he's, <laughs> I he's know, always I know. on my corner right of course and then then there is ratan ratan says which string would you recommend for clay coats monofilament multifilament all the latest quadrangular strings oh so i mean clay coats by far you want to be adding a lot of spin so i mean you would recommend polyester strings monofilament right. multifilament right. strings i will get to what multifilament strings are all right but monofilament strings is what you want uh in terms of shape uh you can choose whatever shape you want it really depends on what suits you best but uh in terms of a broad perspective use uh monofilament polyester strings um a few examples of great monofilament polyester strings is uh, big banger luxalon alu power uh rpm blast uh the wilson 4g uh the solenco turbite uh the babelat pro hurricane tour uh the solenco hyper g uh solenco has also introduced another string uh called the solenco confidential uh fantastic string it's a string that uh, the one that slow and stephens was using when she won the us open i think in 2018 yes 18. she yep. won the us open in 2018 and she was using the solenco confidential it's a charcoal gray string which is absolutely fantastic um uh you can try it out anywhere in india it's available in all your local stores um let us know what your feedback is okay. on that uh head head also has launched a couple of great strings uh, the, the head hawk touch uh the head links uh very good strings um um yeah i mean i think these are the most popular polyester strings that are roaming around in india technifiber is coming to india today uh they have a couple of good strings they have the technifiber razor code uh and they have the technifiber black code these two are good strings in technifiber which also people can try out um again um so monofilament like i said broadly monofilament is the string that uh i would uh recommend for uh, that okay fantastic yeah bro bro i can do yeah so like i'm saying yeah trial will get to uh, you know uh, you know solingo is the best you know the is doing the best uh, in india okay let's talk only about solingo right now tell us uh, okay. take, take us to the solingo you know uh the models in solingo i i just i just i just quickly finish off on the monofilament and multifilament right, yeah, yeah, because multi i think uh, our listeners yes, yes, so multi uh, multifilament is a subset multifilament is a subset of uh, polyester strings uh so monofilament is just one single wire that comes out of a machine right. all right and uh, it gets rolled up into a coil now right. multifilament is basically a uh, lot of thin strings being tied together all right and then coming out of the machine right. so it's not just one string it's 
it's a multiple of strings coming together and then being rolled up into one string. Now, right. multi multi filament strings are the strings that today, in today's date, come closest to natural gut. Right. Um, very very high in feel, very very high in quality. Again, it plays like natural gut. It doesn't play as well as natural gut. It has the similar properties. So a high feel, high quality, great responsiveness. Um, same problems even as uh, as natural gut. It's um, very low in durability. Um, doesn't generate as much amount of spin as a polyester string. So what I would really really recommend players and right. coaches to start. Uh, doing with their players this is something that i really really want to start you know promoting in terms of education with players is to start telling your players to use monofilament strings or polyester monofilament polyester strings on the mains of the racket right. all right and start using multi-filament strings polyester multi-filament strings on the cross of your racket right. this is the best combination that you can give your player no matter what age they are, they're 11, they're 12, they're 13, they're 14, they're 18, they're 20, whatever it is. All right, right. hybrid stringing is the way to go. Tall level players, Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic, all of yeah. them. I mean, Nadal is one of the few players who plays with a full bed of polyester, monofilament. Right. But all other pro, pro players use hybrid strings. They use a different string in the mains, they use a different string in the cross. Now, pro players at that level, they use natural gut instead of... Instead of um, uh, instead of multi-filament but natural gut is just too expensive and I wouldn't recommend something that's so expensive unless if you can really afford it all right, right. but right now we're, we're talking about the masses all right so we want to make sure that they sustain tennis for long so I would recommend a monofilament and right. on the main and a multi-filament on the cross one of the right. best combinations that I have seen is either the Torbite or the Hypergee in the main along with the Solenko Vanquish in the cross. The Solenko Vanquish is a fantastic multi-filament string that has been right. introduced by Solenko worldwide and it's being supremely, supremely appreciated. Supremely appreciated. Right. Right. Yes. We have another one uh, from uh, Kunal. He says, Torbite or Luxilon Power. which one would you recommend for an aggressive base liner? Uh, that's a really, really difficult uh, answer for me to give. All right. See, like I personally prefer the tour bike. Okay, I could be having uh, 20 other players who would prefer the Luxalon. You know, so it really depends from person to person. It's difficult for me to recommend a particular string when both the strings are practically the same quality. All right. It's difficult for me to say one over the other. Uh, I being a, a, a lover of... Uh, of uh, different shaped strings would prefer the tour bite because it does give me a little bit more bite and a little bit more spin as right. compared to the Luxalon. Uh, Luxalon does give me a little bit more feel compared to the tour bite but it really depends on what I'm looking. So I look for more power and more spin in my game. I already have the feel so I don't look for feel. I like the power and the spin so I would prefer the tour bite. Someone who's looking for a little bit more feel and maybe a little bit less spin could could maybe prefer the tour bike, you know. So it really depends from person to person is what he's really looking at. So I wouldn't say one string is better than the other. Uh, it really depends on what you're looking from 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 a string. Right, right. And we have yeah. Kunal, Kunal yeah. here. Kunal, for me, the Solinko tour bike is without a shadow of a doubt the best string in the modern day. No competition. Right, right. Thank you so much for that. Sunil, you're absolutely correct. Solinko confidential soft string with edges, soft on the arms. I, I really respect Sunil's uh, um, feedback right. because he he's in it with the players. He generally talks to a lot of players. He plays himself. He's played at a good level himself. So yeah. um, with him giving you this kind of feedback, you guys should definitely take it seriously. He knows what he's talking about. And uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, Rahel, we have to extend this. After one hour, we'll just take... Uh, probably 10 minutes break and we'll have to come back again because we have quite a yeah. lot of uh, you know questions and so much to answer right yeah we have uh, uh, Devu you are not available in our state so uh, it's difficult to get to find the proper product I have to buy from another store moreover I don't have sponsorship so maybe okay. you just have to look into uh, getting him uh, you know getting a supply there to Devu Yes, then, yes. Uh, yeah. 
in those areas yes we could i mean um, maybe debu can get in touch with me later on uh, through instagram or through facebook and we could connect and i could sort him out you know yeah uh, then we have another uh, uh, sarika that this is uh, shaurya what is the relation between spring tension and power or spin is there a recommended right. spring tension right so um again it comes down to which string you're playing with i'm assuming that you're playing with a polyester string uh uh so let's say if you're playing with a polyester string uh the ideal tension okay right. for a polyester string should be anywhere between 48 to 53 you should play around between those 5 uh, pounds you should not exceed it you should not go below it you could go below it but you should definitely not exceed it uh right. today's polyester strings have uh so much stiffness and they don't lose any tension that you don't need to string at 56 55 58 60 you know that's all all in the past when you were playing with synthetic gut right. so uh as you string tighter okay you are going to get more control and your power is going to reduce because you're going to be playing with a lesser a bed which is going to give you lesser lesser of a trampoline effect right right but as you string looser okay you're going to be getting um uh more of a trampoline effect which is going to allow more power to happen it's going to allow more spin to happen right okay but you are going to lose control correct correct okay because of the trampoline effect so as you increase tension your power is going to reduce all right but your control will increase okay and as you reduce tension your power is going to increase your spin is going to increase but it's also going to take off control so you need to find the right balance of your tension ideally any tension any polyester string is going to come in the tension of 48 to 53 that should be your range of where your tension can fit yeah yes Yes, I think that's one. Yeah. Uh, that that answer there, and we have somebody hybrid of two byte with Vanquish works for uh, Himanshu, Apra Himanshu. It works for them, apparently. And more, it says I have tried Vanquish and Hyper G with the same way you explained. So uh, that my player. Uh, Sorry, just one like second, guys. Sorry. Turn on the light. No? Sorry right. about that, guys. No, no problem. So then, uh, you, you know, uh, Mohit says I have Mohit says I have tried Vanquish and Hyper G with the same way to explain, so that my players also get feel and comfort. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, Varun asks, I would, I would on the same terms, on the same terms, Varun asks, advantage of using hybrid string. Yeah, I've already explained that, right? right. It's it's yeah. got the same qualities like a, a natural gut. Natural, All right. right. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, Sunil Solinko Confidential Soft String. I think we have a very good question from Rajav Raghav Jay Singhania. How does the gauge of the string affect the feel? That's a fantastic right. question. Yes, of course. Just explain that because we have different types of gauges. You know, fifteen, uh, sixteen, right. seventeen. Right. Right. So yeah. I'm not I'm not going to get into the gauges um, because that's a little bit confusing. All right, yeah. I'm not going to say 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about the string in terms of the mm, that is the millimeter right. thickness. Okay. Um, so uh, the most popular mm in India. I'm not talking about internationally. In India is the 1.30 mm. Now right. 1.30 mm is considered to be thick when uh, you talk about uh, gauges. when right. you talk about thickness it's considered it considered to be thick though it's not the thickest you also get 1.35 mm right. though that does not sell uh, it's it's a very small market for that and in india it doesn't sell at all in india people people prefer a 1.30 uh, other gauges are generally 1.25 mm 1.20 mm 1.15 mm now 1.15 is way too thin again people don't prefer that generally people prefer three gauges 1.30 1.25 1.20 you have certain brands like signum pro that come out with you know odd gauges like a 1.23 or a 1.27 right. but it all fits into the 
the same category. So I'm just going to talk about three gauges: 1.30, 1.25, and 1.20. Okay. Um, but I think you can thicker, you can tell them that it is like 15, 16, and 18. No, I think, 17, 17, 17, right? okay, I think right. that's too complicated. It's I think that's too complicated because I think people get confused with that. So if you look at the string, you will be able to right. see the mm. The mm is always right. mentioned. Okay, right. so it's very easy to understand it with the mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. uh but um, a 1.30 mm right. okay so i mean basically the thicker the string so if it's 1.30 okay versus a 1.25 so 1.30 is obviously thicker compared to 1.25 a yeah. 1.30 string is going to give you more durability yeah. okay it's going to give you more control right okay but a 1.25 string is going to give you definitely more power it's going to give you more feel mm-hmm. okay but it's going to give you lesser durability right so the the trade off is the thicker the string okay you're going to get more durability you're going to get more control right. okay but you're going to get lesser power you're going to get lesser feel but the thinner the string you're going to get more power you're going to get more feel the durability obviously reduces all right right but um um it's always recommended to go for thinner gauges even though the durability is lower so right. if you look at the pro circuit if you look at the international pro circuit you look at atp tour level players or wta tour level players um yeah. hi rajesh sir thank you for logging in uh but um if you look at the atp and the wta tour level players um they generally prefer 1.20 gauges right in india that is starting to pick up we have very very good and knowledgeable retailers like sunil harry like selection center sports in bombay very knowledgeable coaches like you like aditya like varun walia in dehradun uh, you know coaches like this you know who talk about you know why it is important to play with thinner thinner strings because yeah you are going to break the string faster but uh you're playing tennis to improve you're playing tennis to get more power exactly. you're playing tennis to exactly. get more spin you're playing tennis to play better every day you're not playing tennis to save money if you're playing tennis right. just to save money then i mean obviously you're not thinking the right way all right, right? you got to be thinking about improvement every single day that's why right. it's important for you to use the, the 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 string that generates the best for you now i'm not necessarily saying that 1.20 is what everybody should use let's say if somebody is generating too much power and and he's already got a lot of spin but he wants to bring control into the game there's no harm in him shifting to a a, a thicker a thicker string so 1.25 so basically the 1.3 1.25 right. 1.30 yeah so yeah, ba- right. the basic trade off between a thicker gauge and a thinner gauge string is the fact that a thicker gauge string is going to give you more control more durability and right. a thinner gauge string is going to give you more power and more feel right, right? so it just perfect. comes down to that yes perfect perfect Then we have another question yes. from Vibhavi Trivedi. He says, uh, "Should players yeah. change strings and tension according to the playing surface and temperature?" Absolutely. As per the playing surface, players do need to change their tensions. Yes. All right. I wouldn't recommend changing the brand. Whatever brand you're playing with, you should stick to that brand. All right. Provided uh, if you find something better, but then you stick to it throughout. You don't keep changing the brand at per surface. all right but as per the surface you generally should change uh, and as per the altitude as per the weather conditions so let's say if it's if it's drier conditions okay mm-hmm. if you're talking about drier conditions in drier conditions the ball is going to move quicker through the air it's as simple okay. as that okay right. in humid conditions the ball is going to get heavier you're going to sweat more you're going to put the ball in your pocket you're going to put the ball in uh, in your in your tights so the ball is going to absorb sweat so the ball is going to move slower when the ball right. moves faster All right the balls tend to fly out so you want to increase maybe a little bit of tension to to build more control in the game and when the balls are are, are heavier all right you want to reduce tension to increase more power so you can you know plow through the ball and you know it can beat the opponent you know without the opponent reaching the ball so that's with respect to humidity and dryness now when it comes to uh, surface all right hard court clay court i think these are the two courts that we should talk about because it's useless talking about grass over here right. uh if you talk about if we talk about synthetic surfaces now synthetic surfaces also you can further divide it into faster surfaces and slower surfaces yes. so if it's a, 
Yeah, if it's if it's a faster surface, surface okay, uh, you generally want to add a lot more spin to uh, get more control. Uh, right. To add more control and to add more spin, uh, you could increase the tension. Uh, when you're playing or uh, when you're playing on um, on a slower surface, okay, and you're looking to maybe hit the ball a little bit flatter because you want to beat the opponent. Okay, so you, maybe you could string a little bit a little bit lower in terms right. of tension. All right. right, so you can hit the ball a little bit flatter and generate a lot more power. Correct. So that's with surfaces. Clay court again, you want to generate a lot more spin. Uh, clay court is slow, so again you would drop the tension a little bit because you want to generate more spin. Now, Lower tensions allow you to generate a lot more spin. Exactly. Sample in, sample in exactly. In Hi, yeah. Suraj. How are you? So glad you could join us, man. Sure, sure, sure. This is something amazing. And then, uh, we, uh, should we change? The string before every tournament. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, you should be the, changing. I mean, professional players, professional players, if they don't break strings, they should be restring. And if they're playing six days a week or five days a week, they should be. And they don't break strings, they should be restringing the rackets every week. I mean, cool. this is uh, this is a but obvious thing. And uh, when you're playing a tournament, so you should definitely get all your rackets restrung. Uh, cross and main tension should be identical, or uh, there should be difference. You can keep it different. Again, it depends on what you want. All right. Uh, you have to understand that the mains are what are actually hitting the ball. They're the ones that are generating the spin for you. They're the ones that are doing the work. The cross is acting like a supporting string at the back. Okay. Right. So if you if you want, you can change the tensions of the main and the cross. It works the same way. Higher tensions uh, can uh, lead to. Uh, uh, um, uh, lower lower power, lower tensions lead to a uh, higher power, more spin. Um, if you're doing hybrid stringing, what you could ideally do is string uh, the monofilament main at a lower tension, maybe two pounds lower than the multi-filament cross, because the cross is going to lose tension because it's a multi-filament. It is going to lose faster. It is going to lose tension faster than the main. So there's no harm in stringing that multi-filament two pounds higher. Than your main, right? Yes, and yes. Uh, there's some uh, one very good input from uh, Kunal. Kunal says, you know, uh, we we've heard this Kefelniko using different kind of strings on different surfaces and different tournaments. I mean, he's been do he he did that. We heard a lot about it. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, that's one off player. I mean, you want? I mean, we have to right. look at what's what's the crowd doing? What's what's generally recommended? Right. At the end of the day, every player is unique. All right, there's right. no set way to hit a forehand. You can, I mean, Radak Stepanek. I mean, w I mean, if you would put him in an academy in India, that guy would not even become top hundred AITA. That guy was playing top ten right. level tennis. He's beaten Federer and stuff like that with the way he hits his forehand and the way he hits his backhand. But like I said, every player is unique. Every player has uh, got his own feel. Every player has got his own. Uh, 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 what do you no. call ideology and how what suits exactly. him? Everybody uh, has a different so, theory. I mean that that suited that suited Kafelnikov. That suited right. Kafelnikov. So he did it and he won with it. So great. Do whatever that makes you win. At the end right. of the day, you want to win. All right. right. If uh, if a tension of eighty makes you win, go for it. I mean, it's not recommended, but if right. it makes you win, what the hell? Go for it. You know, it's as simple right. as that. Right. And then yeah. uh, we have we'll take the last question. Before we come back after like ten minutes short break, I think I think I think one I think one 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 uh, Aditya has put a very interesting uh, comment. Racket last around eighty stringing changes. Is that true or just a myth? Can I answer this? That's <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. Previously rackets were different, and now rackets are different. So you know, uh, technically speaking, it's not a myth. It uh, it's not even eighty stringing. I would say just body stringing. It is stringing. I think it's too much. It's maximum body you're, you're stringing. Gonna for give, you're going to give a lot of parents heart attacks. <laughs> heart attack, but yeah, technically speaking, yes, that is true because you cannot uh, technically say that this racket is dead. Yeah, yeah, I mean a racket no, doesn't die, no but it loses. Machine. Let's say, let's say, let's say if the racket was giving you X amount of power. Uh, yeah. After 40 stringings, the racket is going to give you X minus uh, whatever amount of power. It's going to lose right. its feel. It's going to lose its power. You're absolutely Absolute. right about that. Right. Yeah. And because most and there is no and there's no machine which can actually say that uh, you know it can prove that this racket is dead. 
Yeah, there, I mean, there's no, there's no there's no measure player, for that. Yeah, and as a player, you cannot feel it, and you know, the players cannot feel that. You know, they will only mentally feel it. That you know, the racket is not. I am not able to do well. You know, they don't realize that racket is uh, is the problem there. So, yeah, uh, you know, they think there's a problem. You know, in themselves, you know, they are not playing well. Ball is not going uh, properly. You know, there's yeah. no trampoline effect or anything. They don't uh, see all that. They yeah. tend to keep changing strings. They do so many things, but ultimately, I think, I think, I think that's a psychology session. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah but you, you need to play. That's how it happens. You know, most of them. Yeah. You know, it happened. It happened with us. You know, from our age yeah. till now, it's still going the same. I don't think there's no yeah. not, not much changes, right? Yeah, and uh, we're yeah, we yeah, getting yeah. too close uh, here. Uh, uh, then uh, what should we do? What do you suggest we do, Kiran? We go ten minutes. We take a break. You know, <laughs> just like a movie. This is like a movie now. You know, it's getting yeah. quite deep. Uh, and we we still not in you know the quadrangular strings which people mention quadrangular, yeah, hexagonal, and all these strings. I think we'll have to yeah. just break here, and uh, we'll have to save yeah. our video as well, <laughs> right? Okay. And we we'll okay. come back yeah. exactly. Uh, it's uh, eight o'clock, two minutes to eight now. We'll get back yeah. again by eight ten. Okay. Perfect. Guys, please don't go anywhere. This is getting really interesting. Please don't go anywhere, uh, guys. And uh, Rahel is also getting we love. Keep, better. Keep keep. Keep sending your questions. We need more questions. We like the questions. Aditya, this is he's our technical guru. Guru, we found our technical guru in India now. Rahel is our technical guru. Right? Oh please, man, you guys, you guys are too kind. See you in ten minutes. See you in ten minutes, guys. Bye.